Hi, okay, back again. Um, so, got another little setup. I uh, got the lights so they were the same, if not a bit uh, higher than before. And uh, I've got it back on the oscilloscope. And uh, still reading a really crazy wave, uh, but uh, with the DC setting and DC coupling, um, it's got uh, 11 milliamps. And uh, even when I bring my hand up to it, it uh, changes it. So who knows what's really going on. Standing waves uh, seem to shift around as I... So the meter itself might be interfering, but uh, anyway, we'll go with that. Uh, and uh, so the lights <coughs> going really good. And so the difference is I've got that direct connection to the one plate, and then I've got the other plate uh, just, uh, it's really closely spaced right now, and then that's going to uh, out here, and then up to the load, and then that's going uh, direct connection to the ground. Uh, so uh, negative's got to pile up on this plate to uh, meet what's attracted uh, by that side. Um, kind of guessing, and then you see here, if I move the plates apart, I can even get it to pick up even more. And uh, so those are just spaced just right, and uh, yeah, I can get it to draw more or less. Uh, kind of at will. Uh, it does kind of change the, the reading here, but I'm going to have to just get a really sensitive uh, milliamp meter, uh, 0 to uh, to 1 amp scale instead of like a 0 to 5 amp scale like I've got, and uh, get some analog readings, see what that looks like. But uh, everything's looking pretty good. And I just wanted to show that um, kind of double plate idea, it seems to be a, a second level of tuning above being able to tune the feedback circuit. Oh, and I, I did, um, I've got this one really long ferrite, and that really is good for being able to stay away from the circuit, because uh, with the smaller ones, I had uh, some in here that were the double, just uh, two of them put together, and that would really mess it up when I get my hand right up to close to it. So, and right now it seems to work a lot like described by Dr. Stifler, uh, how uh, the feedback LED will pick up when the uh, when the load picks up. And uh, you know, I literally set it down deliberately uh, to keep the volts across the load about 150 volts. And uh, the uh, input there. So, yeah, another variation on the output. Um, so, direct from the top load tuned uh, capacitance to the one plate, and then air gap in between to another plate, and then that goes straight to the load and straight to the ground. And uh, it seems to be another another winner. So, um, yeah, I think I'll make a schematic for next video and uh, maybe have some, some improvements um, next time to show you as well. Talk to you later.